Hey there, soldier. We have new missions from Tzivas Hashem headquarters. Let's see what they are. Then, with the help of some special friends, we can do them all together. And then you can ask your tati or mommy to check off your missions in your Tzivas Hashem app. Mission number one. I participated in a Fabrengen. Well, let's do that right now. Get yourself a little cup of grape juice, ask your tati or mommy for help, and then we can make a lechayim together. You can put it on pause now if you need time to go get your grape juice. Okay, you can unpause it now. Hello? Hello? You, you can unpause it. Oh, they can't hear me. Oh, there you are. I have my cup of grape juice. Do you have yours? Or if you don't have grape juice, you can use seltzer or juice or whatever. Great, the Fabrengen has started. Now you can put a check mark by your mission. I participated in a Fabrengen. Mission accomplished. Let's see what the next mission is. The next mission is, I heard what happened on Rosh Chedesh Kislev Tavshin Lamed Ches. Well, for this mission I'm calling in a special friend. I'm calling my dear friend Rabbi Gimel Elef to tell us all about what happened on Rosh Chedesh Kislev Tavshin Lamed Ches. Here he is now. Oh, 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 hey, oh, hello, Kinderlach, can you hear me? Oh, good, good. So, you want to know about what happened to Shredish Kislev and why Shredish Kislev is so special? Well, I'll, I'll tell you, because you know, I was there, you know. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not so young anymore. <laughs> so, I'll tell you what happened. On Shmin Yatzeres of Tov Shin Lamed Ches, this was 1977. Uh, I was a little younger back then. Uh, we went, we was, we was in 770. We was in, we was in 770. And it started our coffees. Yeah, I remember it was great our coffees in 770. So the first hakof, first of all, I'll tell you before the hakofis was something strange because usually you know before they make an auction they they raffle off the the, the different uh, psukim and then they do atorei so atorei solo das ki Hashem hu eliki yeah so usually this whole thing takes like probably over an hour and this time it was very fast it was like it was like at uh, least 20 30 minutes something very fast we thought it was strange we didn't understand why it's a uh, why we're rushing over here anyways the first hakofa started out and was was in this thing the first hakofa they sing rablevik snigan the nigan of the rebbe's father right and this is the rebbe's hakofa so the rebbe would da dance with the tire and he would dance with his brother-in-law the rashag yeah and uh, um, um, rabbi Gurari. So this was this was good, was 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 very failure. Then the second and third office was different people who led it, and then um, and uh, uh, we, we it was weird. We the the, the Rebbe was you know, was 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 along and, and making with with, with, the, with the hand, but um, we noticed he was a little bit slower than usual. It was, didn't look like it looked something was was off. But then the fourth coffee, all of a sudden in the middle of that coffee. The, the Rebbe, the Rebbe turned very white, he turned very, very white, we all got very nervous, we all got scared. And Rabbi Groner, he went, he, he, the Rebbe went back to the stender, and Rabbi Groner called, they should bring his chair right away. And then the people began yelling and screaming, and everybody out, everybody out of the shul, because you know, on Simcha there is a lot of Hasidim dancing, and it gets very hot, it gets very, very hot. And uh, humid, a lot of uh, hot and humid inside the shul. So the air told everybody get out fast, so there should be more air for the rebbe. So, anyways, at this point was the doctors uh, coming, 
and uh, yeah, so he was nervous, he was listening, um, but uh, and it turned out the Rebbe had a big, big heart attack, which is very scary. This is this is this could be very dangerous a heart attack, so it was very scary. Um, but we heard that the Rebbe gave instruction that on Simchas Teira, everybody should be happy and they should go and do everything they need to do and every, everyone should be besimcha. Yeah, but anyway, so over the, the, the next while was the doctors. I remember was um, was uh, Dr. Seligson and uh, Dr. Weiss and, um, and Dr. Resnick. In many ways, they was, and the Rebbe, he wouldn't go to the hospital. He said he's going to stay in 770. And they asked the Rebbe, in Chaimushka, that she should try to tell the Rebbe that uh, that uh, he should go to the hospital, but the Rebbe said, "No, we don't go against the Rebbe's wishes." What the Rebbe says, that's how it's. That's how it 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 it, it be. So, anyways, so this was this was the end of Sivastri. This was in Tishrei, end of Tishrei. So it was a little bit over a month, and what happened was this was Rosh Hashanah Kislev. Was finally the Rebbe went home. He went home from from seven seventy. He went to 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 home on on President Street. I um, mean, it was a big simcha, and the Hasidim were dancing and 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 and, and joyous. And um, I, I I remember I was actually I happened to be standing on the second floor of seven seventy when the Rebbe left. Um, there was Hasidim outside, everybody singing, dancing, and I was um, was was the Rebbe Sinchai Mushka there, and uh, and I think it was Rabbi Notik there also. Um, and uh, anyways, the Rebbe was all was watching from the window when the Rebbe was going, and she was very very happy. And of some tears in her eyes, but it was tears of happiness, tears of joy, because the Rebbe was going home. The Rebbe was 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 better, and uh, and uh, and I remember that she she was very happy about. She was excited that the Hasidim loved the Rebbe so much, right? Just like we do, Kinderlach, right? We love the, the Rebbe so much, and and so we are happy when 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 the Rebbe is is healthy and gesund. So and and I remember she said it reminded her when her father, the Friedrich Rebbe, when he came out from from the when they, the KGB they put him in jail when when he came out was the Hasidim was was also very happy and joyous, and the Rebbe and she commented this reminded her of of of, of this of this the, the, this joy and this love that the Hasidim have for the Rebbe, and 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 that and that they that they that they that they want to listen and do his missions and do the things that he wants to do so we can bring Moshiach right away. And yeah, so that's the story. That's uh, Reish Hedish Kislev, Tov Shin Lamed Ches, was the Rebbe went home from 770, and he was better, and he began to give again Sichis and Mamorim, and to give dollars, and to uh, and to encourage the Hasidim to do lots of mitzvahs, and the Kinderlach to do their Tzivas Hashem missions to bring Moshiach now. Amen. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks, Gimel Aleph. Now we heard what happened on Rosh Chaydesh Kislev, Tavshin Lamed Ches. We can have our tati or mommy check that off in our missions. Mission accomplished. Let's see what our next mission is. The next mission is to hear a piskum from the Rebbe. Here's one now. The Rebbe said, what's the difference between all the other times that the Eden came out of Gullus and this time, when we're going to come out of Gullus with Mashiach Tzidkenu. The difference is, in every other Gullus, some people still remained in Gullus, even when the people came out of Gullus and back into Yerushalayim. But this time, it's going to be different. This time, every single Jew will come out of Gullus forever. All right, that's your piskum from the Rebbe. You can now ask your mommy or tati to put a check mark by that mission. Mission accomplished. Let's see what other missions we have. The next mission is to hear the Rosh Chodesh Kislev Nigan, a special Nigan that was made for this occasion. Now, to help us with this mission, I'm going to ask my friend Levi to sing us the Rosh Chodesh Kislev Nigan. Hi, Kinderlach. My name is Levi. I'm going to sing you the Rosh Chodesh Kislev Nigan. I did it, I am, 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 I am
I did it, I ya ya, I ya ya ya, ha 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 ha, I ya ya, I did it, I ya ya, I ya ya, I did it, I ya ya, I ya ya, I did it, I ya ya, I ya ya, ah I ya ya, ah Thanks, Levi. That was fantastic. Now we heard the Rishchidish Kislev Nigan, and now we can ask our Tati or Mommy to put a check mark by that mission. Mission accomplished. Let's see what other missions we have. The final mission for today is to find a safer of the Rebbe in your house. You can ask your Tati or Mommy for help. I got one right here. This one is Lakuti Sichas, but you can also find a Hayyim Yaim or a Sichas in English, any book from the Rebbe. And then you can ask your Tati or Mommy to put a check mark by that mission. Mission accomplished! All right, Kinderlach, great job. We've done all our missions for a Shchidish Kislev. But guess what? I hear there's a couple more missions coming in a couple of days from now for Base Kislev. So check back in so we can do those missions as well and we can rise the ranks of the Army of Hashem. Over and out. <laughs>